Hello everyone, uh, we will be discussing a uh, topic of the client register of 8086. Uh, how the flags have been classified and uh, what are the different flags and uh, when these flags are set and reset that could be discussed in this video. And I hope uh, by the end of this lecture you will be able to uh, represent all the flags of 8086 uh, clearly and uh, Precisely, you can say about these flags. So, coming to the flag register of 8086 microprocessor, and uh, every time I am repeating my point, 8086 microprocessor is a 16 bit microprocessor, and uh, that's the reason the flag register is also a 16 bit flag register. The bits of representation are uh, made from 0 till 15. So you can see the flag register bit number is given at the bottom and the uh, flag is been given at the top and uh, bit number is given in the bottom. And uh, you can see over here like from bit number 0 to bit number 7, this is uh, demarked with uh, one of the different color and these are different ones. So why these are represented over here is that when you see this lower 8 bits of this flag, it is similar or uh, the same as 8085 flags. 8085 flag register. 8085 flag register and the 8086 lower 8 bits should be same. In that percent both are same. And in addition to this one, uh, uh, 8086 will have uh, 4 additional flags. Here you would be having 5, here 4, all put together 9 flags are been defined. The remaining flags over here, like this one is not defined, this one is not defined, and uh, the same way uh, when you go for this one is undefined, and here all these four bits are not defined. So it doesn't have any meaning to the flag which populates the words. Coming to these flags, out of this total 16 bits, there are nine flags. Out of these nine flags, these are being classified into two case groups. Six flags of one group and three flags of one group. This fix, six flags belongs to the category of conditional flags. And uh, these three flags belongs to the category of control flags. So what is this conditional flag? And what is this control flag? These conditional flags would be uh, set or reset. It would be either zero or one depending on the arithmetic operation. Any arithmetic operation when you are going to add it up or subtract it up or go for multiplication or go for any arithmetic operation, the value of these flags would be set or reset according to the um, the type of the flag which has been shown on that particular bit. And these three flags as shown over here in the higher eight bits, which are uh, marked with the uh, bits, that is. D flag, I flag, and T flag. T is, uh, T is called as flag flag, I is called as an inter flag, and D is called as a direction flag. All these three flags are, are machine control or control flags, which will be uh, which will control the operations of your microprocessor 8086. So this is the special type of these flags. Now we will be discussing uh, one after the other flag and uh, we will list out the flag and we will uh, discuss the flag. So, coming to the first one, 8086 multiprocessor has a 16 bit flag register. 16 bit flag register. First, we will start with conditional flags. We will discuss with conditional flags. How many conditional flags are there? Six flags. Number one, number one is carry flag. So, the first one is carry flag and this will be so when you go for a simple addition or subtraction if you go for addition of two numbers let's say i'm going for addition of a number such a way that f uh, addition of two 8 bit numbers f2 plus um, p5 if we add these two what is happening 2 plus 5 which is equal to what 7 then f plus 3 which is equal to 2 then a carry flag is set to 1. So when this carry is been set by MSB bit 
then this kind of plant is called as carrot plant. Carrot plant would be affected by the MSB bit. MSB bit will change the carrot plant. So this is about the carrot plant. So carrot plant would be set when there is a MSB. Second plant, when you go for the second plant in the conditional plant is a parity plant. Parity plant. So if there would be two parities. One is an even parity and odd parity. Even parity or odd parity. So when this even parity will take place and when this odd parity will take place. So even parity means if you have number of ones in the resultant, lower eight bits of the resultant, if number of ones are even, not even, then this flag is set to one. If it is odd, number of ones are ones are even, ones are odd, then this flag is set to zero. So the parity flag will be set according to the number of ones in the resultant lower eight bits. If your lower eight bits of the resultant is even number of ones are there, then it is one. If it is odd number of ones, it is zero. This is about the parity flag. Next one is auxiliary carry flag. So we will have an example for auxiliary carry flag. Suppose if I take it as 2, F and uh, 5, same number 3, 5. 2, F is 3. 5 plus F, you will be getting it as 4 and this will be giving a carry to this one. So this carry is called as auxiliary carry. Auxiliary carry. The flag associated to this auxiliary carry is called as auxiliary carry flag. This is what parity flag. This is what carry flag. So these all these one are related to one of the flags over there. So the first one is carry flag, second one is parity flag, third one is auxiliary carry flag. If a lower level or we can say lower four bits generates a carry. Then those flag is called as those carry is called as auxiliary carry. And the flag associated with this one is auxiliary carry flag. Next one is about zero flag. What is this zero flag? Suppose if you are going to add two numbers or subtract two numbers, then go for subtract number two, same numbers 25 minus 25. What is the resultant of this one? Zero, zero. When your result is 0, 0, then the 0 flag is equal to what? 1. Otherwise, it is what? 0. If you go for any for arithmetic operations you have performed and the result end is 0, then the 0 flag is set. Otherwise, it is preset. Similarly, you are having one more flag called as sign flag. Sign flag indicates whether it is used in uh, sign magnitude representation. Actually, the MSB bit is called as the sign bit and if this bit is 1, if this bit is 1, sign flag is equal to 1. If this bit is 0, sign flag is equal to 0. It depends on the MSB bit of the result. Whatever the result and the MSB bit is there, according to that, it is will define whether it is a 0 sign flag or 1 sign. So these are the 5 conditional control flags which are same as the 8085 max processor. 5 flags which are same as 8085. And next one, one more flag we are having over here is the uh, ortho flag. Ortho flag, which is the sixth conditional flag. And this flag is set or reset. The resultant, when you add two numbers or subtract two numbers, if you are resultant, if you go for division, or what we said, if the resultant destination is unable to hold the result, it is more than the destination register or anything uh, register, then whole flag is set. This is set when your result is beyond the destination. It is more than the destination content. Then it is called as an whole flag. And this flag is set when there is a larger number compared to the destination. So these all are here. Conditional control flag. Six flags have been discussed. The number third is what? Auxiliary carry flag. Number fourth is what? 
फ्रीडम प्लान और टाइम प्लान एंड सिक्स इज वन फोर प्लस Now coming to the uh, three other flags, which are available over here. These three flags are called as machine control flags. Machine control flags. What are those flags? The first one is directional flag. Second one is inter flag. The third one is hand flag. Coming to the directional flag. Directional flag is used in uh, string instructions it is used to represent the auto incrementing or auto decrementing mode in strings you can set a microcursor in auto incrementing mode or auto decrementing mode using of this direction flag if you declare uh, clear the direction flag or make the direction flag is zero it tends to auto incrementing mode if it is one it is auto decrementing mode inter flag inter flag is what when it is one it enables the interrupts it enables the interrupts Or if it is zero, disable them. They say it doesn't accept any interrupts. Flag which uh, flag is used for single step execution. If you want all the command processor to have a single step execution, we will be going for setting the flag flag. Then we can go. For all here, for all here, we can say uh, this is your eight zero eight six microprocessor flag register, which has six. Status flags and three conditional flags. So thank you. And if you are having any doubts, you can uh, clarify your doubts by leaving your comments on the video, or uh, you can follow me. Thank you, everyone.